Hello everyone, I hope you're well and welcome to today's video. I was kind of on a toss up between whether to talk about how to stay positive within the social media or how to have a positive mental attitude when you're, well, just anybody or specifically if you're doing YouTube and on social media and um, what jobs I used to have. So I don't know. I don't know where this is going. I, I kind of want to touch on the social media thing first and I have talked about it before, but ways to stay positive when you are in this industry, the beauty community, the beauty industry. And I can tell you the number one, and the reason why I wanna talk about this is because I have been feeling like this for the past couple of weeks, is not to compare yourself with others. I do this on a daily basis. It affects how I dress, it affects what makeup I use, and it affects what hair color I want, because I'm constantly looking at those that I think or I look up to and think, oh yeah, maybe I should have my hair like that, yeah, yeah, maybe I should be more like her, maybe I should be more like this, or maybe if I was more like that, or, you know, that I would get more followers, or things like that. And I've come to realise that it was really getting me down, like every single day, I was like, oh, I'd watch something and I'd go, oh, you know, it would just make me feel like I wasn't doing the right thing, or I wasn't good enough, or... I didn't have anything valuable to offer. Um, and it's it's funny because you think, gosh, I'm 35 years old. And I've touched on this before. I should know who I am. Um, and that's why yesterday I put a little Instagram post and I asked everybody to describe me in three words. Now, I didn't do this to be self, you know, whatever self-centered. I, I was really intrigued because I thought, I don't even know what I think about myself. I'd like to see what people who know me or watch me or perceive me. How do you see me? And I was really embarrassed to put it up. I didn't want to. I thought, this is really cringe. Who does this? I don't want to do it. And I thought, no, I need to do it as a sort of market research to see what people actually think about me. And I was so, so pleasantly surprised. I got so much feedback from really good friends, to friends on the internet, to people I kind of don't even know, but they've got a perception of me. And I was like, wow, that's how people see me. I didn't think, I didn't think that of myself at all. Oh, I've got a little bit hanging out. I'm trying to grow my hair after that diabolical haircut that I had. Grow, grow my hair out. But that's another story for another day. And a lot, the, the majority of what you all said was, you all said I was beautiful, thank you, that's so kind. But you all said I was funny. A lot of you said I was funny. A lot of you said I was kind. Some of you said I was inspirational. And I was like, what? I don't think I am at all. I barely think I'm even that kind, but <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so it, I, it was really, really touching to see. And it made me realize that you've got to kind of, you've got to be you and people are going to accept you for you. Not because you're like, you know, Jenny from around the block or whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, but I've always done that even like growing up, I'd always be attached to somebody and want to be just like them. And I'd have to copy everything about them. And it just sort of like, and even now, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the realization like, yeah, you know, so-and-so has pink hair and that suits her. And I'm like, I wonder if it would suit me. No, it wouldn't. So-and-so has balayage and natural long flowing locks. I'm gonna grow my hair and have it like that. So I'll look like that. You're not gonna look, you're not gonna look like that person by wearing the same clothes as them, by colouring your hair the same as them. You're, you're not. So you need to think, what do you like? What makes you happy as a person? How do you want your hair? You know, you don't cut it in a certain way because so-and-so has it that way or someone that you really admire. Maybe you might adjust the cut or you might take that person's sort of picture and say, I want my hair like that. And the person in the salon will probably adjust it to your 
face shape or the colour to what suits your skin tone. Even personalities, you'll find when you're around a certain pe people, you'll pick up their personality traits or you watch someone you love and you want their personality traits, so you kind of copy it. And I've always been one to do that as well, but most of the time I am myself. Um, so I'm just kind of getting into this thing where, right, I need to find, you know, who I am at 35, okay? And things like style. I really need to update my wardrobe. I've said this like for years, but I keep thinking I'm a size eight and I'm like, why the heck are all my jeans so freaking tight? Because Shaz, you're not a size eight anymore. Like get to grips. You're not a size eight anymore. You need to start buying clothes that fit you and that you like, not, oh, well, I want to be, should I just dress like, you know, this person because they're really cool and I like their style. You can adapt somebody's style to your own but you've got to find something you like. Pick a jumper and you think, oh yeah, but so-and-so wouldn't wear that color. Just, just do it. So I'm trying to get to that point where I'm comfortable with myself enough to share with others that they can then be comfortable with themselves. And I think it's very important to cultivate your own, if you're in YouTube and blogging, brand. So people know who you are and you stand out from the rest. Because, you know, I'm really critical of my blog, of my channel, I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like that one's blog, it doesn't look like this, oh, but I, then I'm like, yeah, but I quite like it. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's personal preference, isn't it? And I've also started to stop looking at Instagram and Facebook and whatever, whatever first thing in the morning, because usually the minute I get up, I'm on my phone and I'm scrolling through Instagram. And then for some unknown reason, I'll be in a mood. And I'll then vegetate on the sofa all day, like, oh, I'm miserable, oh gosh, I give up. All because I've seen something that's hit my subconscious and I've not even realised it. So I try not to do that upon wakening, because I'm the sort of person that when I wake up, I've got a delivery, hold on. That was the delivery of my toilet seat. Funny story, I've got like in my bathroom um, sort of shelf, and I decided one day to stand on top of my toilet seat to dust the top and cracked the entire top. Nearly fell through the freaking thing. I mean, yeah, like I break everything. So that was the new toilet seat arriving. Um, so yes, where was I? Instagram and not looking at it first thing in the morning, right? Okay, because you will. It looks like other people, it looks like everybody is doing better than you. Okay, I've kind of gotten over the fact that people's lives are perfect. We all know they're not. It's a, it, for me, it's they're doing better than me. Or, you know, they've got their shit together. They know how to get influence and followers and things like that. And I'm not getting anywhere. That's, that's kind of the thing I'm talking about. So limiting that social media sort of thing. And I don't want this video to get too long. And I don't even know if I'm rambling or not. But I just kind of wanted to touch on that. That is one massive thing I've sort of figured out this week. Like, it's just overwhelming. Like, sometimes I love YouTube and I love my blog. And then the next day, I literally hate the lot of it. And I'm like, I'm done, I'm done, that's it. I'm going to go and get a nine to five. Um, so, yes, that was um, a little bit about that. Uh, Work-wise, I don't know if you want me to do a whole sort of... I kind of filmed a video before. This is I'm going to tell you all the truths here, okay? I filmed several videos, I'm not putting them up because I freaking hate them because I'm so, you know, critical of my own kind of work. And I did a whole video about the careers I used to have, the careers, the jobs I used to have. And I thought, this sounds like a freaking CV. And the thing with me is I go far too much into detail. I'm like telling you about what happened in my math school exam. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I just want to tell you kind of how I got to where I am now and why I'm doing it and what I did before and kind of what I want to do. I never knew what I wanted to do, never. You know, up until, you know, I have so many ideas and I kind of, then I forget about them and then I don't know how to put them down into words. And slowly I'm getting my bits and pieces back and putting them together going, oh right, okay, I get it. It's kind of, you know, what I want to do. So. 
let me know if you want a separate video on that. Um, again, like I said, I am critical about myself. I think, who wants to sit here? Who wants to listen to me talk about whatever? But actually, I like to know about people's lives. I like to know a little bit more about them. What did they do? That's the first thing I want to know about people. What did you do before this? What were you doing? What were, you know? So let me know if that's of any interest to you and I will film a revised version of that. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you stayed positive. I hope you've taken something away from uh, this video and love yourself, be yourself, okay? Um, and enjoy yourself. <laughs> okay, I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.